Welcome Aquarius to your reading. I'm Scorpio Moon. Intuition read messages from spirit. This reading is general and it may or may not resonate with you. Take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Cross Watcher, if you're the ones watching this and it may resonate with you. So let's begin. If you're wearing headphones, please lower the volume. I welcome in my spirit guides and all angels, nice and great is good. I welcome messages of love and light that bring healing and love to you all. Please bless this reading. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, uh, what can you reveal to me? Who is the person that's coming towards aquas in love? What can you tell me or what can you reveal about the energy of the person that is connected to Aquas in love? What does Aqua need to know about the person that is coming towards them in love? Thank you, Spirit. Wow. Um, there's a lot, apparently. Um, so overall, I see her neglect and abandonment and it came up in a new neutral position and I see blocked and it's in reverse. So... I have a feeling that maybe your person unblocked you. They're no longer blocked. They're treating this like, um, you know, they never really neglected you or abandoned you. Let's see. Um, I also see forgiveness and the neutral. Also, we have separation, ghosted, neutral. Um, also, uh, attachment and fear, neutral. Okay. And twin flames and a reverse. And also soulmate. Dang soulmate and the reverse so this is what i'm feeling aqua okay you are dealing with your twin flame a soulmate okay and nobody is in their highest and greatest good okay um yeah uh everyone needs a little bit of work okay now your your twin may claim that yeah um i didn't neglect you aqua i didn't leave you you know for a soulmate connection um and there's a level of there's no attachment towards the karmic okay your person is not afraid uh to speak their truth okay there was never really a separation or being ghosted okay so i don't know what this is but you know it's like wow um, they're not even wanting to um, ask for forgiveness or to forgive because they really feel like there's nothing to really forgive about. Your person is trying to play it safe. So it's a form of manipulation. Okay, now let, let's clarify. Spirit, can you please reveal to me what is the energy of the person that is connected to Aquas in love? What can you tell me about this person? Wow, <clears throat> so I see her marriage and it's reversed. Her relationship is moving towards a secret union and right now it's not. So I feel like things are on the rocks. Maybe somebody's getting out of a marriage. Okay, also we have time apart. Uh, some distance will help bring clarity. Now, I don't know. This person is, is trying to play ignorant. Okay, now they want to come back. I really feel like there was an actual a separation. Okay, like um, you and your twin, they, there was like a period where you guys weren't talking, but they were acting like, well, we were never really apart, but they're trying to act like you guys were never really together also. I don't know. Does that make sense? Because that's what's showing up today. Also, I see her healing. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see that. 
you know, I see your healing and it's in reverse. It says old, ch uh, old wounds and childhood issues needs revisiting. Okay. They haven't really healed the situation possibly about like past hurts, maybe about a child situation. And finally we have protected. You are safe and divinely guided. It's in reverse. Okay. So they don't feel protected. They need to heal. They want to come back from, from having time apart. Okay. And like they, they really feel you guys are on the same sheet of music here because before you guys were on different pages or maybe this person thought so, but now they, they're starting to see. Okay. So it's very interesting. Okay. Your person is feigning ignorance. Okay. That's what this whole thing looks like. They're playing stupid, but the, the truth is, is that hey you know if they want to play stupid you can play stupid too but i don't know aqua i have a feeling that you're gonna speak your truth you're gonna be like look um i don't think i deserve like this um well i don't you don't even know how to describe this right because i'm kind of lost with words also let's see they're like i didn't neglect you i didn't abandon you i'm trying to get out of a situation we're not married um, and you're like, what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Where have you been? <laughs> Let's talk about that, right? So, Spirit, uh, what is this person's energy towards you? How do they currently think and feel? What is it that they want? And what is the outcome? Spirit, please bring forth clear messages in regards to the person that is connected to Aquas at this time. Yeah, look at this. This person needs a timeout. Okay, as a matter of fact, I really feel like they did have that timeout. And they were looking for like an epiphany, right? You know, they were trying to look for some answers. And I see they want to move forward. For some, maybe you're dealing with Cancerian energy. Um, they've been really stressed. Okay, stressed on how they can get out of the separation. Now, your person is acting like, yeah, you guys were never separated. But yeah, you guys were. Okay, they are just playing stupid. And... Um, there's a lot of secrets here. So there's something that they're not telling you and it's like, okay, they're not feeling very stable. Maybe things are upside down and whatever partnership that they're in. Okay. Um, that's what I'm saying. And it's karmic. So they have to end some sort of karmic situation before they can really move forward. And, um, they've been waiting for the right time. Okay. So your person, you know, is, uh, you know, planning for the future. But right now, they were holding back possibly because of financial issues, okay? Uh, maybe their money was a little bit tight uh, and they couldn't really invest into the connection with you. That's why they held themselves back. So again, I have a feeling like you guys were talking and let's say that you guys weren't, okay? Maybe this person did leave, you know, you for another committed relationship. Take it as it resonates, but your person's uh, feeling like, you know, um, they don't feel good to make, you know, an offer at this time. And that's why they're holding themselves back. Um, this has been possibly going on for the past year, okay? Where this individual has been acting like, you know, they, they're not uh, wanting to invest into you. And um, there's something here, okay, that there's a secret. There's definitely something that they're holding back and um they just want to have a fresh new start so whatever that situation ship is okay they they just want to end it and have like a new beginning acting like nothing bad ever happened right i mean that's the theme for the air signs for today seriously okay because libra had it bad whoever libra was dealing with okay that they, they were playing stupid too because they're done with a bipolar person over there yeah, your person feels like, you know, there's just too much going on and they were blocking their heart. They felt like they couldn't really move forward because they were trying to do the right thing. Okay, so the right thing is different for everyone. Okay, but in this instance, from what I can see, maybe they're getting out of a marriage and um, before they pursue you, okay, they needed to balance things out in their physical life. So they're going to uh, be like, yeah, I never neglected you. I never let you go. You know, I just had to work on the situation situation and here they are they're working so they really feel like you know you are everything that they really wanted okay they they want to come back they want to offer you 
connection, okay? Uh, they want to work on this. It may happen within a couple months from now. You know, for some, maybe it's been two months where you guys have been in this separation where they claim like you guys were never really separated. So I don't know what, what scenario situation y'all had, but you know, they're going to play it like that. Okay. Now they are looking towards the future and I see that um, they're not very clear. Okay, because they were stuck in some sort of codependent situation. So again, maybe they held back because of money. Maybe because, you know, they were married, you know. Um, maybe they had, you know, something that happened. It was unexpected and they had to deal with it. Okay, and that's why they went cold on you. And um, they had to make a, a choice. Okay, they wanted to get out of the toxic situation that they were in. And they want to ask, you know, is it okay if they come back, right? That's why I'm saying, you know, your person isn't happy, but they realize that something had to give. So this person's returning after a period of separation. I don't care what your person says. You guys were separated, okay? They just, you know, possibly like slowly stop talking. And you guys were like, well, what the heck is this? It's like, is this over? Like you never, it's like, what, what's going on, right? I don't know. That's what it feels like. So let's see. Yeah, your person is thinking, okay, that um, they needed time to really think about that third party. Um, they just had too many obligations to deal with, okay? You were just like a number and they felt like they couldn't do it. So it was just too much. There's just too many people that, you know, your person needed to cater to. And so, you know they kind of stop talking to you, okay? Because you were easy to kind of like dismiss, just saying. So how do they feel? So they really want to offer love, okay? They know that um, they never really uh, close out the cycle either with the karmic or with you properly. So you're going to get communication. Now, um, what your person wants is they, they really want to get together because you do make them happy. Okay. They're going to apologize that they were just struggling. Okay. They were like, um, going through, uh, some difficulty. They were not feeling very balanced. Um, they're feeling a little bit chaotic at the time and they couldn't handle you. Okay. They couldn't handle your words. So they just, you know, kind of dipped out, right? They, they were trying to make a smooth way out <laughs> now look at this and the outcome okay i see here the star in reverse also the three of wands and the five of cups your person isn't happy okay they're just waiting waiting for the right time but they need to heal okay so maybe uh your person felt like you know they couldn't really work on work on things because they didn't tell you the truth about something so it's in here three times already your person was with the soulmate I, <laughs> like point blank period guys they were dealing with the soulmate. Now, everyone's situation is different. You know, for some, it could have been romantic, but I'm not getting that. I really feel like they were stuck in a marriage, a connection, a situation, you know, where they, it was financial. Okay. They were stressing over money. Okay. So they held back because they had to take care of kids or they had to take care of the, the situation because if the karmic would blow up then that's another issue and they knew that you're not going to be as bad as the karmic because aqua you're very nurturing you're very understanding and you communicate your thoughts and feelings very well okay and so they know where you stand but whoever that they're with they're not like you okay that's why they had to go that way that's what i i I'm hearing now look so they're coming in broke and like I'm sorry aqua um, I had daddy duties okay <laughs> or you know I had to work you know I had to man up you know be, be an adult and that's why they pulled themselves back okay with the ace of wands in reverse so now they're trying to find that courage okay to get out of this selfish behavior so they can be with you so they're gonna act like you know they never let you go they never abandon you but there is a situation and so they had to take care of that you know they never let you go it's just you know for a hot minute they just weren't communicating to you they weren't talking to you things like that and that's what i'm seeing so let's see what are the love messages
What are the love messages, please, Spirit? I'm sorry I left you. I have nothing to say. Bam. Like, they're playing stupid. <laughs> just, what did I say? Look, I heard, I just heard a song and thought of you. So maybe you guys have like music and that's your common thing. So they've been thinking about you. Okay, guys, let's see. Your person is coming back. They're going to act like nothing happened. <laughs> And you're gonna be like, what? What was that? Like, I hadn't heard from you. Like, and you're gonna act like things are back on track? <laughs> but you don't want to rock the boat either, right, Aqua? So you're like playing along like, okay, you know, like. <laughs> nice to hear from you. <laughs> and you don't want to ask questions like, well, where the hell you been? <laughs> it's because they had to deal with the soulmate. You know, but the good thing is, is that they're showing back up. Okay. They have financial issues, so it doesn't matter who, what, when, why I see, I, I saw that it's because of obligations. There is like extra expenses, something unexpected and they had to dip out. Okay. But they'll be back. Like we have Bridget, don't back down. Stand up for what you believe is right. Dang. Stand up for what you believe in. You know, be a Bridget. Or be a Bright. Is it Bright? Bridget. B R I Joan. Bridget. Sorry, guys. I'm having a blonde moment. <laughs> like we have Mau, Mother Earth. You are called upon to help uh, with environmentalism. This is actually really beautiful. I love this. Um, you know, if you're like an environmentalist, if you're about like recycling, um, being gentle to Mother Earth, you know, uh, doing your duties to help with the environment, you know, like for a day, you know, don't drive your car, ride, ride, um, you know, the, the bike or go for a walk or whatever you can. I think it's really great to connect with Mother Earth okay and help out like either cleaning up like trash on the street or doing your part recycling things like that okay guys that's really beautiful i like that message so i really hope that this reading was helpful let me know thank you all for watching and if you'd like to book a personal reading with me you can visit www.scorpiomoonintuition.com you can also follow me under ig as scorpio moon intuition i hope you all had a lovely day and i will see you next time Bye bye